Hi, my name is Richard McDougall and I'm here on behalf of York Rotary Club. Rotary Club is an organization of business leaders within the community and our focus is to try to do things that are good on a local level, whether that be in our city or our state, do things that are good on a national level, uh, and also do things good on an international level. Main focus that we work on is uh, polio eradication. Polio is not something that uh, most people are familiar with, but it is a crippling disease that occurs around the world and was really rampant. If you talk to your grandfather, your grandmother, they probably remember when they were in kids where they couldn't get together because of polio. Uh, polio, though, is almost to the point of eradication. We are nearly there from eradicating it from the world. There are just uh, three, let's see, two or three countries still involved. Pakistan, Afghanistan, and Nigeria are still have an incidence of polio, which you can just catch almost like a cold and it will be crippling. So that's what our goal is to eradicate that. Hi, I'm Barry Redfern. I uh, work in town. I've been a banker in York for 29 years. Um, currently, I'm on the York City Council and serve as president for the last 16 years, and I'm on the Country Club Board. I've also been on numerous scholarship boards and other community uh, committees. Good morning. My name is Don Keelan White, and uh, I'm a retired teacher from the York School System. What do you do for the community? Well, let me give you a good example that we did in the first take. <laughs> a community theater. Uh, I've been very, very involved in community theater, doing lots and lots of productions. I'm in a production up in Omaha now, and that's strictly voluntary. Uh, they pay directors and they pay certain people up there. In York, they pay the director, but everybody else involved in community theater is a volunteer. Now, that's entertainment. That's not service. We don't raise money. It's a non-profit thing, but that's one form of community service. We're volunteers. Without the volunteers, there would be no York Triple House. There would be no community theater. My name is Todd Kirschenbaum, I'm the Executive Director of the York Area Chamber of Commerce. I've been here for six years doing this job. I've lived in York for 19 years. And uh, what we do is we work with different businesses uh, that, uh, that are in York County and uh, try to make sure that they are being strong and bringing new businesses and help the ones that are already here. Brian, um, I work here at the Living Water Rescue Mission. I'm a uh, living staff. What we do here is uh, help the hurting and homeless in the name of Jesus Christ. Um, whether somebody's just traveling through, or else if um, somebody's, we help with uh, uh, addictions, that whether it be alcohol, drugs, um, or whatever the, uh, the addiction that they may have. Um, we occasionally get somebody through that uh, says they don't have an addiction. That's wrong. Everybody's got an addiction of some kind. Uh, whether it be sports, uh, work, success, whatever the addiction may be. Um, some people just don't want to admit that they have an addiction because everybody does. Uh, it's just that most of them, it's a life-mastering issue. I'm Sandy Peters. I work with Blue Valley. I've been here for a little over five years, I think. Um, I work here, and then I also work in Osceola. Brown and Bo on your organization. I am Chloe Ann Stair, and my granddaughter is Cameron Horner. She's in the middle school. She asked if I could come out here and help being interviewed. So I came out here for a while because I'm helping the church with the cake thing today too, so I have volunteered a lot. I'm Judy Nordland, and uh, the two of us are the co-founders of York Adopt-A-Pet, which started probably in the early 1980s, so we've been around for quite a while. <laughs> Our organization is York Adopt-A-Pet, and um, we take in all the found and lost dogs, abandoned, uh, we and take cats and cats <laughs> yeah, and a monkey once <laughs> <laughs> that right up there. and uh, anyway any any animal that's in need uh, especially if it needs special medical attention um, we, we see that that's all taken care of how so. do you feel about community service I think community service is vital for any community to um, improve the quality of life for the people that live there I feel community service is very important because uh, it makes you feel ingrained in part of the community. Uh, you actually, as far as just being living within the community, you feel that you are 
you were moving the community in the direction that you want it to be to go. So, very important. Well, I, I think it's very, very important. Um, everybody, everybody has some mean some way of giving. Sometimes you know you donate cash, sometimes you have money, but not everybody has money and sometimes you can help out. And community service is one way to give back to a community that has given to you in one, one form or another. Well I, I think community service is uh, what you do just for the enjoyment of doing it and for the good of doing it, not for the pay or the reward or anything. It's just what you do to help out the community. Well, community service is, is key uh, because uh, we just don't have enough money to pay people to do the things that need to be done. So that's why we rely on volunteers to, uh, to do some community service work. So it's very important to our organization. Uh, community service is great. Um, we we uh, have a, a lot to do with community service. Uh, we do a, have a lot of projects that people can come here and do for community service, uh, whether it be helping with the fence um, to just coming in, deep cleaning, or helping with um, weekend uh, vo volunteer uh, staff work. Um, wh what's the biggest help for us right now is just having somebody come in and answer a phone. Um, that frees me up from from all that office to do uh, other things. Um, that, that's a huge help just by having somebody sit in that office chair just answering the telephone. I think it does good. I think it does good. I've never had to do the community service, thank goodness, but I think it teaches people what they should do and uh, how to, what do I want to say, organize stuff and get them started. Community service? What would they be without community service, volunteer service? There should be more volunteers to help out because there's so much need, for, so much need all over. I wish there could be more people to do that. We get the idea to help out. Giving back to your community is the best thing you can do. You are a member of this community. You can't stand and watch somebody else do everything. Everybody has certain talents and you need to utilize those talents to the things that you have a passion for or that you have an interest in. There's plenty of areas that you can use your expertise in. And you know what, it's, it's just kind of interesting because you can do things on your own without working here. You can see if somebody's abusing an animal, you can report it. And you can pick up a dog that's running loose and uh, bring it to our shelter. There's lots of ways that you can do your community. I try to show by example, I'm involved in lots of different programs, I'm involved with teammates, the library board, the playhouse, um, so I, I try to sh set by example that by getting involved in different things, um, can, you can really make a difference. What makes you want to help the community? Well really what makes me want to help the community is just for the very fact that I have children here, I live here, I have friends here, I have family here. And I know if I can do good for the meat community, I do good for them. Um, I would say that the kids, adults, everyone can make a difference. I think it's just important that you find the right uh, community involvement that, that you believe in and have passion for. I don't remember what I said the last time, but um, there is always a tremendous need. You have, I mean, look at the after prom party, for example. There's one of them cool, one of Centennial, one of, I mean, all over the place, and they all come and they want money donated. Well, there are lots and lots of groups, you see, who, who need money. And there's not a lot of money floating around, and so one way to do that is, is to, to donate some time. Uh, adopt a Pet is an organization um, that some people donate time to. I have just gotten involved recently with CASA of York, which is a court-appointed special advocate for children, abused children in York. Um, and, and, again, there, there's such a need. There, there's so many, so many needs that people have, whether it's personal or, or philosophical or religious. There are lots and lots of needs, and so community service is one way that a person can give back by, by donating some time, as opposed to donating money. Well, I think uh, you know we're here because people do business with us, and therefore we hire people, and we encourage them to give back because people give to us. They, they do business with us for that reason. 
It's a, New York is a great community. I see lots of uh, potential. Uh, we have some wonderful businesses, wonderful organizations, and it's it's exciting to see people uh, working here at the middle school a lot. To see the excitement that uh, the uh, middle school kids have for uh, for different projects, and hopefully that will translate into getting involved in the community. Well, I'm retired, and I mostly don't have nothing to do better uh, is to come in here and work. I used to work almost five days a week, 20, I mean seven hours a day or eight hours a day and uh, I loved it. It was my retirement and I just had to be around somebody all the time. To help the community? There is so much need besides the community. Good grief. You go all over the world and there's need so if you can get right here locally you can help out right here. <laughs> and if we're going to do anything like this locally, this is going to help our community. What would you say to kids that don't think they can make a difference? What I would say to children or kids that uh, feel that they don't make a difference, I would just say look to your York Middle School. The amazing project that you uh, young people have done here with trying to do water well. Uh, in, uh, I believe it was in Zimbabwe? Or South Sudan. South Sudan, I'm sorry. South Sudan. Uh, I thought that was just amazing. And it was just a matter of a, a couple of like-minded individuals who got together and said, I want to do this. And I'm very impressed, and I'd say that's a definite uh, example of how young people can have a tremendous impact, not only locally, but internationally. Um, I, I think every, every person, every teenager, every adult, everyone has a gift that they can give. Um, I think I said the last time that, you know, some people think unless they change the entire world, they become Mother Teresa, that their donation is not valuable. Every contribution is valuable. And like the project the other day where the students went out to Walmart and, and picked up the trash, well, how much time did that take? But you see one person, it would take one person a lot longer to do that. But when a group of people come together, they're doing something. I mean, look how much different that field looked when you guys were done. It was amazing. And that, that's what happens, again, there's a good feeling when you come together with other people and do something that helps your community. And so I, I think no gift, no amount of time is too small. Uh, every person, no matter who, who he or she is, everyone has a contribution they can make to their community or to their school even. What well, might surprise you a little bit, it's the thrill of doing it. I think if you're part of teammates or you give and you do something for the cancer or Red Cross or any of those things, you really feel good in yourself. It isn't that you want a reward for it, it's just the satisfaction that you get out of it for doing those things. Well, I think that they're missing out on a lot. And as, uh, as, uh, as the kids get closer to graduation and they're starting to look for jobs or going into for college prep, uh, the more volunteer work that you have, the better rounded you're going to be to get into different things and the better chances you'll have to get into the better schools and uh, get better jobs down the road. Uh, to get involved with community service, it's not only volunteering your time, it's helping others is the most rewarding thing somebody can do is by help helping others. Well, I think if they, like during the summertime, if they want something to do, they could always come out here and volunteer. You know, we're, we're always wanting volunteers. Kids, they can make a difference. <laughs> my, my. You know, uh, us old people can't lift like we should and do a lot of running. These kids could do a lot of help with a lot of us old people. We're old too, but we can help together doing those things. Well, you know what? We started out as two people and ended up with this. So you can make a difference. You start out small and you just, you everybody can make a difference because it isn't just one person leads another to follow and then another and then another and pretty soon you have a group, an organization that's willing to do things and, and uh, so one person definitely. You might come up with the idea but you need to spread that idea to others and, uh, and, and you can make a difference, yeah. I can assure you of that. It yeah. just takes a little passion and hard work.